Welcome to Ruck Up VR. Today's 10 minute review is on Fract. So, I've been playing about, I would say, uh, let's say about 30 minutes of this game so far. Um, I gotta say, not a fan of the animation so much. Um, I think that there is a fine line that I like when it comes to the animation in the games that I play. Um, either super realistic or, well, I shouldn't say super realistic, I should say more so realistic um, as opposed to press and hold, calibration, there we go, uh, as opposed to more cartoony. And I don't know, for some reason, this game does remind me a lot like, um, let's see if I can grab both of these, let them talk for a second. All right. So, uh, this is a first-person shooter. Uh, it is a very linear game, so far anyway. Um, kind of gives you checkpoints to get through access, and then a whole bunch of bad guys. Now, I've already done this. I'm not sure why. I don't think I made it past the second. That's not that far of a fall. I don't know if you'd actually die from that. I mean, granted, it would definitely, definitely hurt, but I'm not sure if you'd die. This will come in handy. Nothing like taking a gun out of a guy's mouth. There we go. Silly. I like the climbing physics in this game. Uh, when I play um, any game with climbing, I kind of think it adds a lot to it. It has been a little overdone in VR games, just because everybody's expecting there to be more I guess more not not so much more climbing, but they've made climbing a lot more pronounced. I found in obviously the VR world than any other flat screen right, gaming I've played. Oh, this looks so cool on cam. Yeah, but it doesn't doesn't in real life. Well, let's say in real life. Right in the eye. What? One, one good thing that I do like about this is you have the ability to uh, recharge your health. It's pretty easy just to kind of get behind cover and just stay there for a few moments before you go out and get Ravel up. I do have to say though, the guys here do take a good number of shots. And I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. I haven't really gone that far yet. Sure as hell not people, that's for sure. Well, I guess they are people, but... Purple people. So the interaction in the world is pretty good. Uh, anything with yellow little bindings here show you where to go. So that makes the gameplay a little bit easier. Um, and then... Like I said, interacting with the world here and play, using some of the features where like the crane and there's another part farther up. Um, I don't know. I think to be honest, completely honest about this game, I'm not sure I'm 100% on board with it so far. Just because I don't, I don't know if this is really per se my style of game. Um, it could be yours, absolutely. The ragdoll effects, I'll give them that. That's pretty cool. That looks good. There's another guy right there. The blood. Oh, well, I don't know if I even call it blood. Um, their blood effects looks awesome. And the ragdolling looks good. Um, the gameplay is nice and smooth. I do like it. I do like the, the physics. Oh, get behind cover. But I think just for me, I'm not 100%. I'm not sure how much time I'd put into this game. Um, there might be a point in this game where it just kind of overthrows everything. And it's something that... Oh, I guess I already have full ammo on that. Uh, there might be a point in this game where it does kind of, like I said, overthrows me and, and gets me more involved in it. But I just don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not fully immersed yet. I think that it's, 
not like every other game. I don't want to say that. But I just don't see... I don't know. It's just there's just something about it that just doesn't, for me, doesn't fit as nicely as what I usually what I usually play personally. That's personal. It's not for everybody. Um, one thing I did notice. I want to see if I got it. See, gotta go around. Make sure you collect all these bad boys. They uh, they give you uh, points at the end. I'll explain later. Uh, or maybe not. <laughs> one thing I don't like, and I know this happened in this one, and I'm going to explain it coming up really quick here. So this is kind of the end of the level. This is uh, where I got to get. I shouldn't say the end of the level. Um, okay, one thing. One thing I'm going to get straight. I don't like linear games. I don't like. I don't like games that tell me where I have to go. And then I have to go do it, and I have nowhere else, like no side missions or anything. Now, maybe this game has it later, but as I know right now... Okay. Yeah, so this is the part that I'm not a big fan of. I don't really like endless waves of, um, of, of enemies where I have to kill them over and over and over again until I complete the mission. So these guys just kind of keep coming at you until you have um, until you've completed it. The other thing too is um, I I think one thing I don't like is again about linear games not being able to kind of jump down where I want to jump and have been forced into um, something like similar like this where now I'm in a I'm in a bottleneck and I have no other choice but to go this particular way. Not a big fan of that. So in this level, it's basically, they just keep coming at you until you go do this. So I gotta first disable. Yeah, so this game just kind of feels like a ground and pound game, where all I'm kind of doing is going around killing people. Uh, the missions that I'm doing on the side are, I, I don't know if they feel fully like their missions, other than just kind of side, like, like, like a side quest. Like, I'm not even, but it feels more like the option of the game is to kill as many of these guys as possible. And then the drill was kind of like the secondary part. And I don't like that. I want the drill to feel like it's, um, I want the drill to feel like it's the first action that I gotta take, or at least try to strive for. So honestly, this is probably the first review that I'm not, overly thrilled about. Um, I think that this game had all, has a lot of potential. See, now I can go, because I've killed everybody. Now this part of the games I like, I like this. This is something a little different. Well, at least in the games that I play. Looks like we have company. Why am I using this freaking thing? Oh, come on! Get rid of this thing. Oh! Right into the rock. <laughs> that didn't work too well. So, final review of this game. Not necessarily for me. Might be for others. I like the skiing part. I don't like the waves and waves of guys that come at you and you gotta quickly do this, the mission in order to stop them from coming. I don't really like that. I wish there was the ability to just have them kind of stop uh, once you've kind of killed everybody, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, the animation um, is not really my style. Um, I'm finding it a little hard to get into the game, but uh, because it's very linear, and I'm not a linear player, I kind of like the w open world, or at least have some sort of side side missions that you can do within it, not just here's where you have to go, next point, next point, next point, next point. just feels like a run marathon, not, not so much as a game that, um, that I would play. So that's my review. Hope you like the show. If you like, follow, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And as always, Stay safe. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.